Since commencing operations in August 2009, the CARICOM Development Fund has been providing financial and technical assistance to disadvantaged communities, regions, and sectors in the Caribbean community. In Belize, the CARICOM Development Fund supported the development of the National Investment Policy and Strategy, also known as NIPS, to accelerate economic growth through the involvement of a vibrant private sector. The objective of the NIPS is to improve the business climate and facilitate domestic and foreign investment in the short to medium term. NIPS is expected to have a positive impact on the business community and result in increased investment and economic growth for Belize. What was the discovery was that you had fragmented pieces of legislation, fragmented pieces of policies, and so there was a need looking at the environment and the fact that we were hearing about challenges from investors the discussion started and there was a concept that was developed uh, shared with um, CDF, CARICOM Development, for possible funding. If we, if we are to be an in, attractive investment destination, we need to do some things right. So they undertook um, stakeholder consultations um, across the island and those revealed that there are a number of missing gaps which needed to be addressed in order for Belize to be competitive and attractive a destination. To partner with you all and um, to partner with others because, you know, it is very, very important for the development of these economies. And so I thank you very much for that. Um, I think it was good. You know, we, we are working very hard to keep bananas as a, a very important part of our economy in this country. There always have to be a framework for which you know, the private sector and others in an economy operate. And this is where government comes in, and this is where projects such as NIPS is very helpful because it, it helps with that structure in terms of identifying, you know, what type of investment um, uh, we, we want to pursue over a period of time, along with consultations from the private sector. Once those matters were addressed, the roadmap would create the pathway for better results by the member states in attracting those investments. NIPS has already started to have a profound impact on investment in Belize, and the CDF looks forward to seeing the planned benefits of this policy and strategy fully realized. The reduction of some of these negative socio-economic impact, I believe this will be mitigated as well as we have a more thriving, a more um, economically involve emerging economy. There is one word that comes to mind when we talk about the business community in Belize and its resiliency. We've seen this, you know, in several, uh, um, several periods throughout the last uh, 30 years, but probably none more so than after the effects of COVID, where um, things look pretty bleak. The CDF is proud to have worked with Belltrade to develop the NIPS. This is supposed to bring about a transformation in terms of our investment value chain, you know, within this country to bring greater foreign um, direct investments, even joint ventures with local investors for the country. And I must emphasize that it's not only large enterprises, it's also, we're looking at how the micro can benefit, the small can benefit, and the medium enterprise can benefit. Belize is, is, a, is a good example of how, um, you know, the public sector executing agencies can work efficiently with a regional institution like ourselves in ensuring that the projects are implemented as a partnership so that there's, there's no delay in implementation and that the projects ultimately achieve their objectives. So we often look towards Belize as a sort of model that the other countries should try to follow. Another important thing about our, um, the experience of Belize is that 
they have very, very attentive focal points, technical focal points. So, uh, and, and their proactiveness and their diligence has been in large measure responsible for the success of their programs.